Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovel Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA. Hello out there, this is Quilty. I'm Mary Fonz and I'm joined by Vicki Holloway. Welcome to Quilty. Thank you, Mary. You and I have been talking about quilts since you walked in the door <laughs> and fabric and you, you have a special uh, vocabulary word that I want other people to learn when I ask you what kind of quilts you make. I do. I call myself a fusion quilter. I fuse traditional as well as modern in most of the elements that I do. I rarely do any one thing. Any one thing. Um, I think the word fusion is perfect. It's like they talk about food being Asian fusion or, you know, but it's true for quilts too. And I think Absolutely. more and more people are doing that traditional, modern, blending together. Um, and the quilt we are going to talk about today did that too. Absolutely. Um, I want to talk to you more about your stash, your fabric stash, but we should we should start on this mm -hmm. and then we'll talk more. Um, so this is a Blocks of Go Go show. Uh, the quilt that we are <clears throat> talking about is Nordica. And Nordica is a quilt. This is the pattern that was submitted to us. And you've had a quilt published in Quilty Magazine and I believe you sent a photograph. Is that right? I did. Well, you can submit that way, or you can send in, you know, a, a design program um, a visual of your quilt if you submit to Quilty, which you should do. Um, and this one came in, and we just thought it was awesome. And what's neat about this quilt, one of the things that's neat about it, it's all just quarter square triangles. That's all it is. And th but the way that they're placed within the block makes all the difference. So, Vicky, why don't we look at this fabric? Do you like do you like this fabric? Oh, oh, it's gorgeous. Tell me, tell me what what's working for you here. Well, the tw this one has a very very twill inspired look. Yes, absolutely. And we have this very modern polka dot right. slash hexagon right. feel. But this, I think, in the middle really brings it all together. I agree. It gives them contrast. You know, these two together. So today, the show, the block that we're going to talk. It's the evolution of this block. Of we're going to talk about layout and the fabrics that were chosen. You know, when I, I picked these fabrics out, this is all Moda, so it's just beautiful mm -hmm. material. Um, I picked these things out, and these two are a little similar. They are. There's not a whole lot of contrast in that. Exactly. So I was a little bit worried about, I needed something in between, right? Mm -hmm. And then even beyond that, I thought I'd better have something really stark with it, like a solid white, mm -hmm. which I think is kind of a fusion thing too, right? I think it is. Right. And then um, I grabbed this pink, which I think is Free Spirit. Um, got my little tail there. To just kind of, it kind of offset. I think, I think the reason I like it is this taupe kind of color is kind of in here. Sure picks it up, doesn't it? It picks it up. Now tell me, when you, see, I know what you mean by picks it up. Talk, mm -hmm. talk a little bit about that for people who haven't heard that. Well, when, when you put the fabrics next to each other, when you first look at this, it reads as a pink. Yes. I see pink, but when you put it next to the middle fabric here, it picks up right. that fabric color in the background or taupe. Right. It picks it up. It, it's, it's, it's its friend. That's how my mom Makes will say it too. Mm -hmm. Makes it pop. Exactly. So that's kind of a mini picking fabric lesson. Um, I'm going to give you the rest of this bulge. Oh, thank you. As a thank you for being on Quilty because I know that you really like it. And I also think, by the way, this fabric is a really good example of that modern fusion thing because this, I mean, the color palette is very Civil War to me. Very much. You know, it's that, that steely gray thing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. Isn't totally fabric agree. wonderful? <laughs> okay, so let's lay out this block and I'll pull the pattern up so we see how it goes. And I've got a quilt as my screensaver. Imagine that <laughs> on my tablet. You're very internet savvy. You have a blog. I do. What's the address of your blog? It's mycreativecorner3.wordpress.com. Dot com. We'll put it up on the screen so people can visit. So let's lay out one of these blocks. I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to zoom in. So the quarter square triangles that we make, let's see, and I think let's do these guys as the corner pieces. Mm -hmm. and we'll lay it out. Yeah, exactly. So what we have, I'm trying to help the cameras out here. Um, 
is we have four fabrics and they're all in different combinations. We have, you know, this sort of caramel color with white. We have that caramel color with the polka dot. We have white with the polka dot. I mean, there's just variations on one quarter square triangle. And then in the middle, technically here in the pattern, it's showing you that it's the same red. I changed it. I made the center that pink, okay? Exactly. So point out to me, Vicky, what what you see in terms of, let's see, let's make sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I knew there was something funky. Yes. You know, I actually think we- Do these go this way? I think <gasps> those go look that. Look at what a totally different look we have when we make our star. Exactly. And so, and actually, there's even one more change in terms of the pattern. What I'm seeing, so we've got these in the corner, okay? We've got these are, are actually in this pattern, they are on the side. On the sides. Yep. And so, I mean, already we've seen three different variations of this block, and it's not, one is not right or wrong. If you're making this quilt, this has a specific layout and a specific pattern to it. But part of the lesson on this show is that the way you turn these half squ quarter square triangles within this block makes a whole totally different quilt. Because now, look what we have. These lines, yes, right? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. You were talking about these, how they're the, set. Yes, I love these on point squares. And and yeah, they look like they're set on mm -hmm. point. And what is set setting on point? Can so you just tell me? Instead of having the square flush with your vertical, you have your point as being right. the center of your row. Right. And so I love yeah. this elongated star that you can also see. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really cool. And uh, was there a cut glass dish, or what were you saying? I think about? yes. I remember my grandmother having a quilt. She always called cut glass. Cut glass. And it was all the hourglass is the traditional name she called her quilts. And you know, block names can change s so much. I don't know that you know the designer of this quilt may not have ever heard of that no. that block. And and but she you know she just played around and and sort of came up with it on I, her own i think we all do we name each yeah. block for each moment in time yeah yeah absolutely and we can we can finish up by saying that not only are the ways that you turn these quarter square triangles going to make a difference i sewed a few extra ones and i switched up the colors so i'm going to have you press open i chained pieced these mm -hmm. you can press that open for me my dear um i chained pieced them at the at the uh sewing machine and I used some different colors. Give me that, and I'll give you that. And while Vicky's pressing, I'll talk about what I did. I took this pink from the center. If I were to use that in the block instead, or if I was if I was to put that there, suddenly get this pink line in the block, and that would be great. You could do it on the side, like this, and however you choose, the, the design choices that you make absolutely affect the outcome of your quilt. Absolutely. Yeah. Or, or even this. Mm -hmm. Continue that line, but use the pink. Yeah. It's really, really pretty cool. It is very pretty. Before yes. we go, I have to know about these clips. Yes. Um, I have a very long and negative relationship with pinning. <laughs> I have bled on many white quilts. Oh no! So I have found via some of my younger friends Let's on the internet right, right of here. using these clips instead of pinning. Instead of pinning. I have never pinned in my life, oh. and my um, fingers and my quilts love these quilts. I also use Sh them for binding. Show me. I mean, you just I you just put them on no just pinning. like a pin. No pinning. And then, as I go along, pop you them right off. You heard it here first, or maybe you didn't. I've never seen this before to use for patchwork clips like that, but I absolutely see the the advantage of doing it. Way to go. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show, Vicki. Appreciate see, it. See you next time. Bye. Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovels Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA.